Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer for the Solemnity of St. Peter and Paul, June 29th, 2020. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I know the one who I have trusted, and I am certain that he, the just judge, has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. Our first psalm is Psalm 63, a soul thirsting for God. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voice celebrate you forever. I know the one whom I have trusted, and I am certain that he, the just judge, has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. God's grace in me has not been without fruit. It is always at work in me. Our canticle this morning is taken from Daniel, entitled, Let All Creatures Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. God's grace in me has not been without fruit. It is always at work in me. I have fought the good fight. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. Our second psalm is Psalm 149, the joy of God's people, holy people. 
sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. I have fought the good fight. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. Our reading this morning is taken from the first letter of Peter. Beloved, rejoice in the measure that you share Christ's sufferings. When his glory is revealed, you will rejoice exultantly. Happy are you when you are insulted for the sake of Christ, for then God's Spirit in its glory has come to rest on you. Blessed among us today are Saints Peter and Paul, apostles in the first century. This day commemorates the two preeminent apostles of the early church. Of the two, Saint Peter was among the twelve disciples called by Jesus. Originally named Simon, Jesus gave him an Aramaic name, Cephas, meaning rock. This inspired a memorable pun when Jesus told him, You are Cephas, and upon this rock I will build my church. The occasion was Jesus' question to the disciples, Who do you say that I am? Which prompted Peter's reply, You are the Christ. Peter emerges in the Gospels as a complex character, bold, impetuous, capable of fear, doubt, and childlike meekness. In short, a fully human creature. It was this rock, who denied Christ three times after his arrest, but who later repented his betrayal and courageously assumed leadership of the early church. St. Paul, a devout Jew, was initially a persecutor of the church, but after receiving a dazzling vision of the risen Lord, he was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah. He went on to become a zealous missionary and servant of the gospel, his letters to the early Christian communities became foundational documents for the early church. By providing a theological rationale for the universality of the gospel, he was largely responsible for extending the church to the wider Gentile world. He suffered persecution in many forms and was eventually martyred in Rome, where Peter too suffered the same fate. This is a quote of St. Peter taken from the Gospel of John. Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe. And this is a quote from St. Paul, taken from Gal the, uh, Galatians. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Our responsory, they gave up their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They gave up their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They went forth rejoicing because they have been found worthy to suffer insult for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. They gave up their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Simon Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and we are convinced that you are the Christ, the Son of God, 
Alleluia. Our Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Simon Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and we are convinced that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia. Our response to our intercessions this morning is strengthen our faith, O God. Shepherd of Israel, as in days of old, you have rescued those who feared you. So too you have, so too you save us in Christ Jesus. In company with the saints Peter and Paul, we rejoice to pray. Strengthen our faith, O God. Help us to pray always for the welfare of those who live in poverty those who are afflicted in mind, body, or spirit, and those who are most vulnerable. In company with Saints Peter and Paul, we rejoice to pray, strengthen our faith, O God. Strengthen and support Christians who are persecuted for proclaiming the gospel. In company with Saints Peter and Paul, we rejoice to pray, strengthen our faith, O God. Animate all the baptized to tell the love of Jesus and use their gifts for the glory of God. In company with Saints Peter and Paul, we rejoice to pray, strengthen our faith, O God. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, for our ministers, for our parish staff, for all those who vote and uh, who volunteer, their time, their talent, their treasure. For those who are parishioners, especially those who may be sick or those who have passed away, in company with Saints Peter and Paul, we rejoice to pray. Strengthen our faith, O God. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our prayer for COVID virus. The coronavirus prayer, excuse me. Dear Creator of the world, we come before you asking your mercy on us to halt the spread of the coronavirus. We pray for those already infected with the coronavirus that they may receive prompt, effective, and compassionate medical care that will restore them to health. We pray your protection and grace for all the medical professionals who are courageously treating those infected with coronavirus. May they be shielded, strengthened, and guided as they administer healing treatments and care. We pray for your protection over those most vulnerable to disease, for our babies, our children, our elders, our poor, disabled, and those weakened by other health conditions. We pray for those under quarantine that they might be com comforted by your presence and protected from disease, anxiety, and fear. We pray <clears throat> for our public health care leaders and government agencies that they might be informed and well prepared as they deal with the coronavirus. Grant them the resources and manpower they need to use their wisdom in the best interest of public health. We pray for the researchers who are tracking the course of the coronavirus. May they uncover patterns that will help us understand how to stay healthy. 
We pray for those searching for treatments, cures, and vaccines. May you guide them, reveal new ideas, and accelerate their discoveries to fight this disease. We pray for the communities, areas, and countries hardest hit by coronavirus. Restore their sense of well-being and community. Sustain them, comfort them, and give them hope. We pray for all whose lives are disrupted by the coronavirus. We pray for families who have been separated and for those whose livelihoods have been jeopardized. We look to you, O God, praying that the spread of the coronavirus will be halted and that many lives might be spared. We pray that through this crisis you may draw us closer to you, grow our compassion, and increase our knowledge. Thank you that you are the great physician who not only heals us, but who is a very present help in our time of need, as the Bible tells us that you took up all our infirmities and carried our diseases. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Amen. God our Father, Today you give us the joy of celebrating the Feast of the Apostles Peter and Paul. Through them your church first received the faith. Keep us true to their teaching. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the example of Peter and Paul inspire us to lead others to Christ Jesus by the manner of our lives in accordance with the Holy Spirit. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.